All right, so we're gonna do a little bit more in-depth walk around of another one of the cars that we got from our Arizona deal, as I've been referring to it as. So, this is one of my one of my more favorite ones of the bunch, and my dad's favorite one, I believe, is what he said. Um, this is a 1969 GTX, as you can as you can see there. So. And this is a real GTX. It's not, you know, a, a Roadrunner or satellite cloned into one. It's a pretty solid car, but it does have, you know, typical quarter rust and stuff. But it's way better than, way better than normal. Um, all these wheels were in the trunk. They're just 14-inch uh, Magnums or road wheels, whatever you like to refer to them as. Trunk is real solid. Uh except it does have a spot there, a couple other little spots. And that's not going to stay close, that's fine though. The other side, the quarter's a little bit better, but it does have rust, it does have some issues. Um, I will say this is kind of coming across as if the car's for sale, it's not. Um, it's not being entertained for sale right now so we're gonna just avoid that side of things but real red black interior with the with the black lower stripe or lower paint I guess you could say it's not really a stripe um, everything's pretty well intact that looked like a four-speed shifter to me it's not it's not a four-speed car. It's just a really, really weirdly set up automatic. It is, as you can tell by the by the vents here, it's a N96 is what they call it, the air grabber cars. And it did, you can see the line here of where it had the black hood stripes, which are pretty much all faded away. Uh, somebody did end up taking the airbox stuff out of it at some point. I don't know. I don't know if somebody might have used it on a different car or something. Um, but you can see the, the vents there. And it does have some rust in the battery tray area. But it's a pretty loaded car as far as options. It's not an air-conditioned car or anything like that. But it does have some options for anybody interested in fender tag codes. There's that. White package, bucket seat, console, white pinstripe, hood treatment, uh, tinted glass, N96, all kinds of stuff. Just a 440 automatic car, but a really clean one at that. The grill is a little beat up, but at least it's there. They're really kind of hard to get, so. Anyways, I just want to do a little walk around, show you guys another one of the Arizona cars a little bit closer. So I'm going to kind of cut it there, leave it at that. But another thing just to note, I'll be doing an in-depth video of that car, that car, and that car. So stay tuned for that and definitely check out some of the other videos on some of the other Arizona cars. Uh, there were six of them total, and there was a 426 Hemi, so check out that stuff. I'm probably going to end up putting together a playlist of the entire Arizona thing, so uh, definitely stay tuned for that, but consider liking, subscribing, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.